round action here, and if we had a fantasy draft for light heavyweights, perhaps Magomed Ankalaev would be the number one pick right now. Fan base absolutely bullish on this man's future. Pretty good test in front of him tonight. A good litmus test to see where he's at relative to the truly elite fighters in this division. and that is going to give the opposition something to think about. I've never eaten one of those, but it doesn't seem fun. No, it sucks. It uh, sucks to get hit with that front kick up the middle. And that is going to allow for him to stay at range. It also deters takedown attempts because you know that if you change levels into one of those, you are going to sleep. Oh, nice straight left. Really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, inside kick. Well, that combination's gonna test his chin. Nicely done. Again, he's looking for that left. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Nice block. Oh, he might be out. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show. If you can... oh! oh, he's in real trouble now. Now we're going. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Unable to connect there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Lands a jab. Thirty seconds in the round. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Magomed Ankalaev. Nice combination lands to the head. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I yeah. mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. Second round underway. Nice head kick. Oh, nice uppercut there. Blocked the strike there and then counters with a leg kick. Nice job by Pedata. Tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch up. Man, these guys. Oh! We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, huge left. Big knee to the body. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's big. Oh, big left. Just 
just out of range with that right now. Point accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Under a minute to go in the round. Had a range with that one. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Leg kick. Final seconds here of round two. Uncle Lion's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect it. Up. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, big shot land. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Oh, oh man, he's hurt. Back to his feet. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like the right into the window there. Instead, it is blocked by Pedata. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Ooh! Big right hand there. Oh, he's hurt. Now he's back up. Well, you can feel that breeze off the oh. Could be the beginning of the end here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, 
Alex Pereira gets back up. 15 seconds to go. Akhalayev's dealing with an obvious limp right now. Perhaps it was that last kick to the right leg that caused him the problem. So we'll see if he can start checking some of those and make the adjustment. But clearly this is a storyline that could emerge throughout the rest of this fight. He is ready to be out of there, okay? You completely rocked and you knocked him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our four. Oh! Back to the feet. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, that was crushing. That kid, man, that one left. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Another knockdown! Oh, nice right hand. Well, blocked that punch. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai. I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result isn't surprising because that's what he does. He knocks people out. But the fact that he's continued to do this as he goes up the rankings, really impressive.